Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you four things that you can do with raw milk other than drink it. One will be making butter, another is clabber, another is buttermilk, and then yogurt. Now, most people who have raw milk have a pickup point. Ours is our neighbor's house. We just walk over, grab our milk, and come back. You will see that when milk sits, raw milk sits, the cream separates. You need the cream to separate in order to make butter, and that's the first thing I'm gonna show you. This middle jug has sat for two weeks. The one on the right has sat for one week. You can see the longer it sits, the less cream you have because it's thickened and more milk and whey is at the bottom. I have found that you get a richer butter color if you use two week milk versus one week old milk, but both will work just fine. Now the process I use to get the cream off the top oh, is only gonna work if you have plastic jugs. If you have large glass jugs, you can scoop the cream off of the top with a large spoon, but I have these itty bitty tops and if I try to pour the, it's just gonna get mixed up. So my neighbor gave me this idea to poke the bottom of the jug with something sharp, I chose a knife, and put up multiple holes and just let the bottom layer drain out and watch for when the cream starts to get to the holes and then you stop and just dump the cream out of the jug into my bowl that I'm gonna mix the butter in. It can get pretty thick and look a little lumpy, but this is perfectly good and perfectly normal. I will also set the jug upside down in a bowl so that the last bit that's hanging on the sides can drain out because this is good stuff. I don't want any to go to waste. With the skim milk that I have left after taking the cream off, that's what I use to do these other things. One thing is I just uh, use it to soak my chicken feed so that the chickens can have a little extra treat. I don't know if the chickens should eat this stuff or not, but they'll eat it and I don't give them too much and it's gotta be full of good enzymes and minerals and vitamins, so I give it to them. Our cats also love the milk, which I gladly share with them because they do not want anything to go to waste but I don't share with them unless we have extra. Once I have all my milk jugs emptied, I'm ready to start making butter and I'll just add, I like to have at least two jugs of milk's cream to make butter. It makes maybe about a pound or a good size ball. Once I have that, I put it all in my mixer with the whipping blade on and I'll set it to about a medium speed and it can start to get messy. So I do cover it with a towel. That was another tip another friend gave me to make sure that my countertop doesn't get splattered with milk. You wanna keep an eye on it and keep checking it as it um, mixes. It does take a little bit of time, but not forever. I do like to pause and scrape the sides just to make sure everything gets to form together and nothing gets left on the side of the bowl. Once it starts to get thick like this, you know you're getting very close and all of a sudden it will just clump up and make a ball of butter. So at this point, keep a close eye on it. And there you go. It has made butter just like that. It has clumped together and all I have to do now is get the big chunk and all these little chunks that are floating around in the buttermilk to then do my next step in making this butter. This step might seem weird, but it's actually very important. You need to rinse the butter because there are pockets of buttermilk inside the ball of butter and you need to get those out. And I found this out the hard way. If you don't rinse your butter, your butter will only last about one week and then it does actually start to go bad with those pockets of buttermilk. So you gotta squeeze and rinse and squeeze and rinse and squeeze and rinse until you think you have all of the buttermilk out of the inside and then you're ready to either salt it if you want or put it away for storage however you want to use it and your butter is done it is actually that simple with a good amount of soap and a pretty warm water you can wash the extra butter on your hands off without too much trouble we don't eat butter too quickly in our family so i'm putting half 
in the fridge to use right away and the other half I'm wrapping in saran wrap and then foil to put into the freezer for later. Now after you make butter, there is milk left over in the bowl and that is what we call buttermilk, which we often will go to the store and buy buttermilk to make buttermilk pancakes. But I save this for my own pancakes and it makes them very nice and fluffy and delicious. My pancakes look like they have shocked faces looking at you. The third thing that I can do with this raw milk is make milk kefir. Once I fill up the jars, I'll just plop in the little itty bitty kefir grains and it's supposed to sit on the counter, I think, for about 24 hours. And then you should have milk kefir. I think there is a art to this and I have only done it once or twice, so I have not figured it out. But this is the basics on how to make milk kefir. Lastly, you can make yogurt with the leftover milk, skim milk from your butter making process. And I just put it in the machine, add the yogurt start pack. You can use an, a tablespoon or two of already made yogurt if you have that, but I prefer the packets. And to let the machine run, I think I ran it, this one for eight hours and then it made yogurt. You'll notice the top has like a yellow color because there was still some cream left and that separated up in the top as the yogurt was being made and just mix it all in and it's fine. This is pretty runny yogurt so I let it drain through a cheesecloth for a little bit to try to make it thicker, sweeten it with some maple syrup, add some granola and chow down. And it was okay, but because it was older milk, it was fairly sour. So I think this would be better with fresh milk, but this is one way to use up the leftover milk from making butter. And lastly, a bonus thing you can do with raw milk is let it sit on the counter as is and let it clabber. It pretty much means turn into yogurt without the start. It should just do it itself and thicken. This took a couple days to clabber, and you can eat this, it's safe, it's fine, but we don't. I don't like the taste, the flavor, we just give it to the animals. All this talk about breakfast foods puts me in the mood for some sizzling bacon or some fresh toast with butter. Well, thank you for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something about raw milk and the things you can do with it, and I will see you in the next video.